Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative, and today we're taking a look at Malin & Getz's Mojito Lip Balm. This is one of their standard lip balms. They have one that is unflavored, and they have one that is flavored here. This is the most hydrating lip balm that I've ever used. Um, currently, I believe these go for $15. Is it $15? They used to be $14. I believe it's $15, maybe even $16. These are high-priced. But the function of what they are, these are a liquid, but they're very viscous. Like if you really want to take a look here, I'm going to push out a little bit. They are very, very clear. It's almost just like, almost like a gloss. And I believe in certain cases, if you put enough on here, you can use this as a lip gloss. But this is something not designed to be a lip gloss, but of course it can be. So I just put this on my lips. You can kind of see, it is really, really good at, if I use this once, I kind of don't need to use this again until make midway through the day and I am set. And I don't even need, need to use a lot. Like literally the smallest circle on the tip of this is perfectly fine. And you can see exactly, like that is all I need. That's really all I need. And I kind of apply it on my lips and I am set. Flavor is good. Like, I'm not somebody to lick my lips all the time, but it's kind of, you get the sensation when it's on the lips. You can get that light scent up here because you're applying this right here. That scent is nice. It's sweet, it's fun, it's kind of just there. Um, but if you are not so somebody, if you're not somebody who's into that kind of like light scent at all, like maybe you're eating food and you don't want anything to interfere with the taste or smell of this, then just go for the unscented and you'll be fine. But this has been what I've been using for maybe the last four or five years. I recommend this fully. I usually get the mojito because for me, why not? But it's not something like the cheaper alternatives out there that kind of dry your lips. Because even for the sticks, um, I think my choice for the sticks would be Burt's Bees. It does a great job, but every once in a while, and it could be just me and everybody's different, it sometimes feel like I have to apply it a lot because maybe it's drying. And again, that could be that you or me licking our own lips. It's just kind of like, hmm, something's there. Let me purse them. Let me lick them. And maybe that is kind of what's uh, removing the hydration effects. For this, I really don't feel like I purse my lips too much. Like I do it originally. I wipe away out, you know, I do this, I wipe that away so I don't get any kind of like glow around here, just for me personally, and it just kind of works. It may be something that costs a lot for this, but it's something that I think is entirely functional, and yeah, it's something that I have been using for a while. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, put in the comment section below. I am going to show you the back side of this for all the information. It is not a natural product whatsoever. Well, oh, you're really blowing this out. The text on here is just blue, but for some reason it just doesn't really want to show everything. I hope you guys can see it. But actually, let's look. Moisture-rich gel formula leaves lips soft, soothed, and comforted. Directions apply to lips. Okay. What are the ingredients? Yeah, if you look at the ingredients here, it is absolutely not a natural product. Nothing it is. Nothing in Mail & Gets is, but they are made for sensitive skin, and I've never had a negative reaction to it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Mail & Gets Mojito Lip Balm. I forget if I said, find, comment everything, m8b9 on Instagram. Email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you, guys, and I will see you next time.